Uh, hello everyone so in this video let's try to start developing something and what we will do is we'll try to create a simple html page with some basic styling so from there you will understand how to actually style a particular page also like styling means if you wanted to add a particular color font margin font family font size all these things you should be able to do so what we are doing is we are just creating a container inside container we will be creating header so HTML5 already provide these all these tags. We can use a direct those tags header, footer, aside, sections, all these tags. And we already have the CSS embedded. So we will be just adding the CSS in the index.css. And here we will be just defining some common CSS for the body like I have a font size 12 pixel. So all these things you can define in a one single tag. Font is a font size, font family, right? And the header. So I have a nice and clean header. I can just provide a padding. Padding nothing but nothing but okay. How much space should I leave from left, from right, from top, from bottom? Inside header I have h1 tag. So if if you just see my how my HTML look like right now is I have just uh, division class header. So what I can do is I can put a classes. These are the classes, and I can just use some colors to paint these classes. So container I have header, then I have h1 tag. So how can I, I do the classes? So I started with the body. I just specified the basic rules for the body. Okay, the font size, font family, the margin padding. So for the body, you can just also put a padding zero pixel. Okay, now you are putting a header. So header is of some uh, here. If you see the header, head inside header we have just h1 tag, and what we are doing is inside header we put some padding of 10 pixel. So padding 10 pixel means it is applied only on the top and bottom left and right it is zero pixel background color is you can say blue green whatever and inside that we have a h1 tag inside header we have h1 tag so this is how you can define that h1 tag if you just put okay this is my h1 tag and i have i have font size and font family and all these things if you try to make it global okay if i make it 50 pixel then this h1 tag will be applied to everywhere in the web application but i want only that h1 tag to take this font size and margin which is inside header so you can just specify you can expand it okay this is element class header inside that we have h1 tag that's why i'm applying that css only here okay this is just a nice way of applying css you can now css has evolved much we are just talking about at the beginner level right now you can do a all lot of things with the css Okay, now you can see we have a header H1. You can just specify the color. Okay, color is white, background color is blue, and you can just customize the background color to something else. We did a padding. Now, after header, we have H1 tag. Now we can just divide a create a wrapper kind of a body because now we have had a nice and clean header where you have defined a title. Now we can create a section inside a wrapper. Wrapper can be your body, and inside body, we defined okay, this is my body, and rest we can create a footer. So in a simple, very simple language, the web page contains the header, footer, and body, and maybe a sidebar or the new bar from coming from the left and right. Okay. Now inside body we have a container. Container is of width 50, 80 percent. Now this is important to understand. Not all pages, not all websites has a full width. If you wanted to just central align our whole content and we wanted to show only a 80 percent width, then container which we have here in the bottom in the top inside outside body so what i'm doing is container will occupy 80 percent and margin will be zero auto so what does it will do is it will just leave the same space from the left and right it is the trick to centralize the content so a width is 80 percent it will cover the 80 percent of the whole width and it will centralize the all the content of the page margin zero auto so top bottom margin will be zero and auto means automatically it will adjust to left and right equally and background color is whatever you want so our container is ready now we can have like this contain container has a wrapper right so wrapper is just used only one so you can just directly create a class wrapper and section is margin uh, top bottom left right is 60 pixel right now okay and then we can also create a footer so in the section we just have h2 tag so we can just define a font size font family all these basic things margin padding color background color and text align left so if you wanted to text align, text align left so here we have a section section has h2 so if you see the dom hierarchy 
here we have a container container has a wrapper wrapper has a section section has a h2 now we can also create a nice and cool footer but for footer we just need to create a just a background color so that look little different from our original design so we can just put a background color to something else okay so this we have we it got the footer we already defined the footer in the paragraph of the footer is text align center margin is 5 pixel okay now just a uh, few fixes we can do is so now in this application what we did we created a header footer if we just go to html this is the header so here you can use the html5 header tag also and this is my wrapper so this may be i can say a body this is the footer so here i have a wrapper in the section so to style it either you can direct first you have to style wrapper so here i did okay inside a wrapper uh, i didn't do anything on the wrapper because we don't need so the wrapper contains a section so you can style section and h2 tag so inside section and h2 section uh, i don't need anything on the section because the color is this background color we already defined okay see so this is the gray color is coming up already if you wanted to just have a section if you wanted to have some other background color right it's green right so this section will have that color but we already put a margin padding on the section so the, you can see the gray color is coming up so here we have a margin of 10 pixel and somewhere padding also we have given <coughs> So this is my section. So you have to put a background color on the wrapper in the in this particular case. And we have H2 tag which has the padding this. So now if you just look at the whole overall picture, we have header, we have wrapper and we have footer. Right? So header wrapper, if you just look at the header styles, container is this. Now we have had an H1 tag. Now we have a wrapper. Wrapper has a section H2. Now we can't nest uh, the section wrapper with H2. You can just write it something like this if you want. Okay, I'm talking about this section which is inside wrapper. So if you just see the definition, we have a wrapper inside that we have a section inside that we have H2. So it will not apply any particular style on any other section. It will apply only that section which is inside a wrapper okay so the, you just need to take care of all these kind of nesting this is important and we have a footer now if you have anything else like i just wanted to display some kind of a form inside it now i have a nice layout right now in the previous sections we created some kind of html form that we can place around in this section and now you can see now in the section you see i we don't have a padding and all these things so we can add it uh, we can format it also a little bit okay so we have a section and in section inside form we have okay so we can what we can do is uh, instead of we just need to create another one wrapper and we have to do a padding okay 15 pixel so you can see now it is have a padding from the left and right and you can set a margin also if you want margin of 10 pixels right but that is whatever is necessary now we have a nice look and feel form right so it is just a simple first form view created which has a header footer and form elements all the things html elements with some validation okay uh, thanks everyone